In this video, I want to show you how you can create passive income three different ways without spending money. Now, before you turn this off, there are ways that you can create passive income and spend money. There's actually, you're going to spend your time or you're going to spend money to, to build a business. And I'm going to show you how to do it with no money. Now, at any time, you can add different software tools or anything into your business and start spending money, but you don't have to. So that's what I want you to pay attention to, but it is time. You are going to spend time building this. You have to do all the work in the front and then you're going to create something that can run without you sitting there and um, putting t um, time or money into it. <laughs> so I'm going to show you, we call that evergreen. When you, when you build something that's evergreen, it's always there. Um, in marketing, people are going to use, uh, do two different ways of doing marketing. You can do it with uh, social or with search. And I'm going to show you how people search for things. When you build a business using um, social media, um, that's when you go use Facebook and you see people, you know, putting things on Twitter and all of that. They're looking to post um, their information and ads and get people to recognize them by interrupting their day while they're on Facebook and they're on there for social reasons, you're interrupting it and saying, Hey, what about this? And maybe you're paying for an ad or something. That's the way that you do it with money. If you do it with search, <clears throat> you might build a YouTube channel, which you see here and you don't have to pay for YouTube. It's free, but you're probably thinking, well, how do I make money? First of all, <clears throat> I want you to remember that whatever you're putting on YouTube, people are searching for you. So with that thought in mind, let's look at how you can use YouTube, YouTube to make money and build a passive income. The first way is with affiliate marketing. Now you've probably heard this a lot. There are people that build affiliate marketing businesses and they do go out and they, they do email marketing with it and they build sales funnels and all of those things. And that does cost money. It costs money to have membership on those different sites to use those tools, but you don't have to do that. You can strictly use YouTube for affiliate marketing. Now, affiliate marketing is when you're promoting somebody else's products and because people might buy the product or they might buy the membership that you're promoting you get a commission and that's how you make your money you're like the middleman per se now how do you do this a better question is how do you do this and not spend money and that's what i want to keep emphasizing to you it can be done and here's how. So I like to refer a company called ClickFunnels. I am into digital marketing and things like that. And I like to refer a lot of the tools that I use. So on my channel, you're going to see a lot of things like that. So I might make a video promoting ClickFunnels and saying, hey, I'm doing a review. And then at the end, uh, maybe try to persuade people to click that link and become a member of ClickFunnels. Another feature, another product that, um, another way that I do it, is I have a website. Now I did pay for that and I like to promote different products that I use on the website. These are all different kinds of YouTube products that um, people have asked me a lot of times, you know, what kind of uh, equipment do I have to buy? And so I just went ahead and posted the equipment that I use and they can go there and look at it. And if they buy it, I get a commission. Now you're like, well, how do you get a commission? I get a commission through Amazon. And this is where, now you, you just heard me say, well, you have a website, right? You don't have to put the products on a website. You could go to Amazon, Amazon Associates, and become a member. Anybody can. It's very, very easy. They have one little stipulation that within six months, they want you to sell three items <laughs> through their associate website. And if you do, then you strictly become a member. If you don't, they will shut down your, your membership, and then you have to open it again. It's not that hard. But... Basically, that's where you find these products and that's how you can hook up to them. Now think of Amazon and all the millions of different products that they have. Now, if I didn't have that website because I did pay for that, I could just strictly promote those products through my YouTube channel. So I could just start saying, hey, if you're looking for a camera to use or different equipment, I could maybe do a product review and I could say, hey, these are five different types of cameras that I have done some research on and they're the top five. And then I can put a link for each one and then people can choose which one they want to look at. Now, the neat thing about Amazon is let's say somebody chooses one of those cameras that I had done a product review on and they go into Amazon and they're like, I don't like any of these 
five cameras that she just recommended, but I do like this one that I found that's on sale. I think I'm going to buy it. Well, because it was you who got that person to come into Amazon, you still get a commission off of anything that they buy for, I think it's the next 24 to 48 hours. So you still get something because you drove that person to the site and you don't have to spend anything. It doesn't cost anything to become an Amazon associate. Now, the, here I just looked up um, best coffee makers and I hit the video. These are all coffee makers that people have done reviews on and they're all videos. So you might want to just have a YouTube channel that researches the best um, products. You might even call your channel the best products or product reviews and just randomly pick different products and do reviews on them. You might even do playlists and, and maybe do kitchen products and then maybe another playlist with um, products for cars. I'm just using that as an example, but your entire business can be made using YouTube without spending money. Now, I recommend possibly if you would like to maybe make more of a niche, more of a theme, and maybe make your whole channel about dogs, for instance. Pets, dogs are very, very popular. Very high amount of people searching for dogs. Um, I know somebody that has a channel that shows um, themselves videotaping their dogs just playing and they'll get like a million views. It's crazy. So lots of people love dogs. They love to look at videos. So if you are a dog lover, you could even put some videos on there with your dogs, how to take care of them and things like that, and then do all kinds of product reviews. I just Googled best dog leash and look what came up. They are several different videos where people um, did reviews on the best dog leashes and they have the link down there where you can hit that link. It'll take you to Amazon and they will get a commission for that. So that's how easy this can be. And now again, if you want to expand, you want to start doing funnels and things like that, that's when it will cost you money, but you can build this without spending money. I just want to keep emphasizing that because I have gone into other videos and it says don't spend money. And then before I know it, they're giving me all these links where I have to spend money and you don't have to, I promise you. All right, let's look at the second way of making money. The second way is through ad revenue. Once your channel hits a certain uh, uh, to certain criteria, one, you have to have a thousand subscribers and two, 4,000 hours watched on your channel. So that's like 240,000 minutes. It could take you six months to a year to a year and a half to get there. So there's a lot of work involved, lots of videos that you're making to build that up, but then you can apply to you to become, to become a partner and they will, it takes about two to three months to be approved. But once they approve you, if they do, you can start making money by having ads put on your video. Now, again, that's something that you're going to build up, but the more, think about it, the more videos that you have, I was just watching somebody else that was sharing the revenue that they were making. I'm not monetized yet. I think I'm 40,000 um, minutes shy. So within the next two months, maybe by the end of this is October, probably by the, before Christmas of this year, I'll be monetized. I should be, I should have enough. Of course, then I have the waiting period. But the point is I was just watching somebody cause I always like to see what are they really making? And one person they've been on here for about six years and they're making about $2,000 a month. Now the person showing the video was saying, okay, one video uh, was that was really old was only making like five dollars a week or something like that. It was really low, but they said if you add that all up, his revenue was like two thousand dollars a month because he had over a thousand videos that he had made over the course of the last six years. So it's something that you build and and it stays there. That's the that's the the beauty of YouTube. Your videos will stay there. People will search for information. You happen to have a video that they find and they watch it. So the key there is when you're making videos, make sure it's something people are looking for. Like I just showed you with dogs, dogs, you can't go wrong. Um, oh my gosh, you can go in so many directions with that and really make a good channel and have lots of neat products for people to review. But another angle, let's say you don't like animals and you're like, I, I don't really want to do that. Another avenue would be a how-to video. Maybe you're really into technology and you feel like you're sitting there, you're kind of nerdy, you're really into Excel and Word and you know, you'd love to make PowerPoint, whatever. And 
what you could do is make a channel teaching people how to use all those things. Everybody in the workplace is probably, I, 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 I look up things for Excel all the time. We use it for my job all the time for data. And I'm always looking up videos and how to, how do I do this? How do I do that? I'm always seeking my um, questions that I'm seeking on Google to get them answered. And I like YouTube videos. I like that. I can see somebody walking me through the steps. So think about that. Think about something that you enjoy that you can share. I would hate for you to uh, start a YouTube channel and try to get ad revenue on something that you didn't like. And you're, you're not going to stick around for two or three years and build it up to where you're making good money because you're, you're not going to enjoy it. So make sure it's something you enjoy. Now there's just one more um, avenue of income and it's, it's with YouTube. You can create a course. Now, what I mean by that, you're probably thinking, okay, but here we go. If I make a course, I need to use a platform to build my course and then sell it. Yes, you can do that. Um, there's a link below for a uh, teachables. If you want to go that route, you want to spend money, hit that link. If you don't want to spend money, create the course in a playlist. So what you're doing is encouraging people um, with your video, to, like maybe you can really push that first video in the course and then say, you know, the rest of the courses are in this playlist. And the only way for them to get in there maybe is through that first video. Um, and then they go through an entire playlist, which is going to give you more watch time, which increases your ad re revenue. And it's a way that more people will come. So you could do an obedience course for the dog and have different steps and what you need to do. And it could last as long as you want it to last. But the more content that you have in your YouTube channel and in those playlists, the more people are going to search for you and want to come and watch your videos, which is going to generate revenue for you. So that's how you can do it for free. Again, if you want to expand, there are definitely other ways in affiliate marketing. You can look for other products. Um, I'll actually put a video at the end of this, um, how to, how to find other products in affiliate marketing. Some of them you can find for free. Some of them you might have to pay a fee, but most of it is free. To be honest, most people want you to promote their products and they will give you up to 50%. Um, you could even do a channel looking for the best courses out there. There's lots of people that want you to promote their courses. Um, I'm also going to put a video here at the end on how to monetize what you need to do to monetize your channel so that you're sure about all the steps that you have to take. But but there you go, 100% free, money-wise, but you do have to put the time in. I, I can't emphasize that a month, but uh, enough. But what I love about YouTube, what has really made me go from Instagram, I started out on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, and it was kind of discouraging because I would post information or post, you know, um, live videos and things like that, but then they disappear and a lot of people don't see them and I have no control over that. But here on YouTube, it's there forever. Unless it's something, I would say it, it might disappear if it's, unless YouTube decides to get rid of it, but it will sit there and people can look at it. And the neat thing is I can go back and change the thumbnail if I want. I can update it a little bit. I can update my description and all kinds of things. I just can't change the, the video, but I can change the SEO, the search engine optimization, my keywords, all of that stuff and make it so it's easier to find. So, and it's there, like I said, it's called evergreen. It's there forever. Basically people keep searching for it and you will make money. If it's something that people are searching for, you will continuously keep making money. That's where the passive income comes in, but you can't be passive in the beginning. You have to be disciplined, build it, keep putting content into it and it will build up and you will get to the point where you start making that money. All right. Subscribe to my channel. If this is something you like, give me a thumbs up and check out the links below.